Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Free Write Friday. My name is Jessica Lynn Johnson. And uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am the founder and CEO of Soaring Solo Studios, which is a company dedicated to the development and the direction of solo shows, one person plays. So um, I have the privilege of working with um, hundreds of solo artists all over the globe. Um, I've been in this field for over 20 years. Um, I'm a solo artist myself, and I toured with my first two solo shows for over 13 years, and I'm just at the very beginning stages of writing my my third solo show and, and working on my book about solo theater. Um, I'm also a blogger for NoHo Arts. So if you ever stumble upon the NoHo Arts website and you want some um, tips for being a solo artist, look up my Soaring Solo blog. And um, I'm also on the uh, advisory board for the LA Women's Theater Festival. So that's in Los Angeles. So that's a little bit about me. I'd love to hear about you. Please say hi in the chat. Uh, let me know where you're tuning in from. Today, I'm actually in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, visiting family for the holidays. Um, so it's very cold here. It's not as cold as it was, but it's it's pretty chilly still. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, I'd love to hear where, where you're at um, and also where you're at in your solo theater journey. So are you on your second show touring? Are you in the very infancy stages of your first show and not even sure if this is for you, but you're dabbling um, or somewhere in between? I would love to hear about that. Um, let's see. So a little bit about Free Write Friday, if you've never been here before. Basically, it's just a quick 20 to 30 minute experience. Um, I walk you through um, usually something having to do with writing structure or character development, specifically in the genre of solo theater. And then I give you some time to write and that's it. And we're in and we're out. So this isn't a forum where we share our work. Um, that's really reserved more for my Saturday morning free classes, um, or my coaching services. So this is really just to carve out some time for your creative expression and get something on the page. And the next Free Write Friday, if you enjoyed today and want to come back, is Friday, January 20th at 11 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Eastern. So again, that's Friday, January 20th, 20th 11 a.m. Pacific. So feel free to sign up again and join me then. Um, okay, please make sure you have something nearby you to write with, because obviously you're going to need that. Or um, some people prefer to kind of ad lib and improvise and record themselves and transcribe later. That's a great way to go too. So feel free to do that if, if you'd prefer. Okay, so we've been looking at um, Save the Cat. So for those of you who are familiar with that book, it's a, a screenplay structure book by Blake Snyder. Um, but we're looking at it in its application to solo shows. So today we're going to focus on beat four, which is the catalyst, which usually happens in the first 10% of, of a screenplay or in a solo show. So by catalyst, um, I would liken that to an inciting incident. If, you've, if you're if you familiar with the concept of an inciting incident in a play, this is very similar. So it's essentially when the main character, oftentimes in a solo show, that's going to be you, is catapulted into some sort of crisis. Um, that could be through a breakup, a divorce, a death, um, some sort of invitation into an adventure or a calling of some sort, but essentially it's a life-changing event that our protagonist goes through and it messes up and disrupts their whole worldview, forces them to examine their position on things. And that is essentially what a catalyst is. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples from some solo shows within our community. Um, and then I'm going to give you a moment to write about your own uh, catalyst moment. So um, I had the privilege of working on the show After the Fall uh, by Johnny Ray um, a, a couple of years ago. And um, the catalyst in his show within the first 10 or so minutes of his show, um, he is giving a massage. That's what he, he did uh, as, for a living. And um, yeah, when he was giving the massage, a plane uh, crashed into the building that he was uh, massaging in and set the entire building on fire. And he then had to uh, get out of the building and jump from a, the third story uh, window. So obviously very traumatic, very dramatic. And that is where the show begins. So he's forced um, into this, this highly scary situation. And then go, we go to the hospital with him and we go through this whole healing journey and transformational journey um, where his body is not the same as it was before. The, his life looks totally different than it did before. And um, he has the spirit guide of his deceased father, who is one of the main characters in the show, who helps him go through this journey. So um, that's one example of how you can create um, a whole journey of transformation for your protagonist through something really 
traumatic that happens. Um, another example would be the show Chemo Barbie, um, which I have had the pleasure of working on. I think we started back in 2016 and she's been touring successfully ever since. That's Heather Keller is her name. And in the very beginning of the show, um, she's at a doctor's appointment and gets diagnosed with breast cancer. And that is where the journey begins. She's this very healthy vegan runner, you know, um, wife, young, you know, beautiful actress, and then has this huge trauma happen. And that again, sets off a journey of transformation. Everything she learns about herself through having cancer, through um, getting on the other side of cancer and all of those sorts of things. So those are a couple of examples. And whether you have something as dramatic or traumatic as either of those, or if it, or if it's much more on a smaller scale, um, that's fine. We're just looking for you to identify a catalyst in your life that incited change in your life, that incited some sort of transformation in your life, um, that challenged the old you versus who you've become now. So I'm going to give you eight minutes, and I want you to identify a catalyst in your life um, and write about it. So yes, be thinking about anything that you've gone through, big or small, that you would say has changed and transformed you. And you might be in the midst of it right now. Maybe this is something that just happened and you're like, oh, well, I don't, I don't know if I can create about that right now because I'm still living it. So what do I have to say about it? That's fine. A lot of times this process can be very cathartic by allowing our art to become our medicine and our message to be found in our mess. So um use that if you're in the midst of it. And if you're on the other side of it, wonderful. You can look back and say, okay, when that happened to me, who was I before that happened? And who have I become since then because that happened to me? So um, I'm going to give you eight minutes and I just want you to write about whatever came up for you um, from that prompt. And uh, we'll touch base right after. I'll let you know when your eight minutes are up. Jump on in.
four and a half minutes left, four and a half minutes. Okay, please go ahead and wrap up your writing. I hope that you found something useful in uh, looking at your life in search of a catalyst. And um, I know it's it's kind of odd sometimes, especially if we're writing about ourselves, to think of it in a structured uh, theatrical way. So it can be helpful, you know, to watch these free write Friday videos 
and look at structure in playwriting and apply it to your real life lived experiences so that it can help you have a show that just doesn't meander and remain nebulous, but actually has a through line and plot and a message. So um, feel free to go on my YouTube channel and watch um, the playbacks of our other, the other beats we've explored in uh, Free Write Friday for um, Blake Snyder's Save the Cat. Okay, so you'll see in the chat, I put some announcements. Um, we just, uh, prior to the holiday, we um, finished the Star Series um, at the Zephyr the Theater and at the Hudson Theater. Um, that was an amazing three months of solo shows from our community um, expressing themselves on those Hollywood stages. And um, we're doing an encore, just a brief encore weekend in early February. So if you click on the link in the chat, you can see um, some of those upcoming encore performances. And then we also move into Solo Fest January, February, and March at the White Fire Theater, which is one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, solo theater festival on the West Coast and probably coming close to being the largest one in the nation um, next to United Solo. So um, be sure to check out Solo Fest if you are going to be in Los Angeles. And I think they're also going to be streaming quite a few of the shows. So anywhere you are in the world, you can you can watch um, solo shows. Let's see. Um, and then, yes, as I said, my next Free Write Friday is happening in January. I put the link in the chat to sign up for that. My free Saturday class is also happening in, happening in January. It's called The Art of Creating the One Person Play. I've been teaching it for um, well over a decade now, uh, free on Saturday mornings. And um, you can just show up and get a writing prompt, and then you'll have space to share if you want to, and you don't have to. Um, or you could bring like what you wrote today, for instance, and do it during the prepared work section of class and get some feedback. Um, and then if you're ever interested in coaching with myself or Heather Dowling, who's one of uh, the coaches, or Kamakshi Hart, who's another soaring solo coach, um, you can fill out one of the contact forms on my website or just email me and we'll get you set up with that. We have um, small groups, uh, power pairs, intensives, and one-on-ones. So lots of different things to, to serve you and your show. And um, the last thing I wanted to mention is the Hollywood Fringe Festival is happening in June. Um, and that is an excellent way to premiere or continue the tour of your solo show. Um, it is a very uh, supportive festival. They really handhold a lot. Um, it, there's lots of workshops to teach you how to produce and perform and all those different things. I'm, I've been doing it for um, over a decade now. I've been a part of that festival. So I can certainly uh, be your guide if you're interested in doing it. And even though June sounds far away right now, it's not. It will be here before we know it. So if you want to be a part of that festival, please email me at soaringsoloartist at gmail.com and we can talk through some, some strategies to get you involved in that festival. Okay, so I'm going to hop off, but I will leave the uh, chat up in case you want to uh, continue saying hi to one another or jotting down the announcements. Um, so good to see you all. I hope you have a very happy and safe new year. Bye, everyone.